Let's jump to the war here, and today we've got a saving a disaster battle playing as Clan Eshin with a Rat Assassin Doomstack going up against Argwalon with a Treeman Doomstack. Loads of Treeman, couple of tree kin. And the problem with this situation here, I mean, it looks like it's fine based on balance of power, but the problem is from a tactical point of view, trees beats rats. Because rats are small units with basically no stun resistance. And what ends up happening is single entity large units such as trees, dragons, stegodons, that kind of stuff, whenever they hit a, a rat assassin, they pretty much always knock it on the ground, interrupting whatever attack they were about to do. So when, what ends up happening is the treemen will just simply get more attacks off than the rats because they're constantly getting interrupted, even if the rat stats are technically better. And I think a lot of people need to not look at the stats so much when considering these sort of matchups. Like, sure, we've got we've got assassins here with 124 melee attack, and they've only got 56 melee attack. But the problem is, if we're only attacking, you know, one-fifth the, the frequency, they'll grind us down also. They've got way higher hit points than us. But that doesn't mean we can't win. We just need to not attack them head-on. And that's what we're going to do. So I think in this situation here, like it's definitely not the best rat assassin doomstack you could build. It needs a few more rats, but uh, well, rat assassins, I mean. The rattling guns, while normally would be an excellent unit, there isn't really a whole lot of support here for them. And while they would do some damage, ultimately they'll get targeted by the enemy because they can get taken out quite quickly, and we'll end up losing them. So what I'm going to do is just keep them in reserve for the time being, because they're valuable and they're a bit squishy. Now, these guys here, they can't hide, so I need to put them on the side. And we're going to have... Oops. We're going to have the Rat Assassin stand over here. Actually, you know what? I'll put them over here. And I'll put these two over here. And what we want to do is go in and basically do a bunch of hit and runs. We want to attack them with their flanks. They're likely going to line up all along here. That means that there's going to be units all, all, all the way over here that'll take forever to get over this side. And that's what I'm counting on. We're going to be able to be moving much faster than them. And there's Durthu there as well. If we can snipe Durthu in the early parts of the campaign, up oh, sorry, early parts of the game, uh, that'd be good. Just keep them out of it for now. I'm going to take them off fire at will. Because we can utilize our stalk to just go in there, snipe something and get out, hopefully. As long as we don't get bogged down by like Treekin. Probably best we avoid the tree king, because they'll just kind of surround us. Alright, they see us. Go in for the Dryads first, because that'll be easy to beat. But really, we're trying to go in for Durthu. But as soon as there's, like, a couple of trees over here, we really want to get out of it. So. Alright, so Durthu's going down real fast, because he's only able to attack a couple of the rats, but now that there's more trees coming in, we're getting out. Sure, we were getting close to killing Durthu, but really, that's not going to win us the battle on its own. And Durthu was only able to do a little bit of damage to us. Now we pull out, go back to stalking, and they have no idea where we are. Alright, we're back to stalking. Now they're chasing after this one. These two. But of course, we want to go back in there. But use the element of surprise as much as possible. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is pop this down to disturb them as much as possible. We're probably not going to last very long. Do we have any Helm of Discords? Yes, we do. Okay. Okay, I can't quite get it in from there. So that was a bit of a waste. It's just, just too many. You know what? I can't get in there. We can get in. Maybe finish them off and then get out. Yeah, a lot of them are way too far away. Definitely stay away from those tree kin. Because they'll bog us down way too much. Okay. Get out. Get out. Just a little bit of a hit and run. Just don't get bogged down. That's it. Speed it up a little bit. Yeah, let their archers shoot us. It's fine. Alright, Durthu. Okay. He's lagging behind again. That's good. Once again, just go in, hit and run. Take him out. 
Now, our guys here should be faster than anything that they've got, but there's so many of them that they can essentially just wrap around the map and get us. If I absolutely need to, I could just um, withdraw them from the battlefield. Alright, good. Dirt is isolated. Here we go. Try to reduce his up and slow them down over here, please. Okay, dirthu has gone. Okay, move back. Hey, have some of this. And that's how assassins should function. Lurk in the shadows, fight them in the dark. And then we go back to stalking, but... We have taken a fair bit of damage, but we, we took out their best unit so far. Now, the leadership penalties aren't going to make any difference. Okay, some of our assassins haven't yet gotten out. Well, I haven't gotten back to stalking. Alright. Still not stalking yet. Yes, yes. Okay, now they're all stalking. Right, so now we have to pick our next target. Really want to avoid those tree kin over there. Because they can just wrap around us. Like, they're not dangerous, but they can, they're essentially going to act as a net of Amentok and just stop us from getting away. Right, also they're a little bit tired. I uh, wouldn't worry about that too much. Because we've got so much melee attack, it's just, yeah, it just wouldn't really matter. Keep them moving. Yeah, I recovered a little bit of fatigue. Alright, let's try to kill these units of Dryads and that Treeman, and I'll use the Menace below here to keep that one busy. Although, ideally it would be good if this one was isolated so I can kill it. But yeah, we'll just see how we go. So we got a health potion here for Snitch, but if we use it now, it kind of goes a little bit to waste. So fighting in the trees is fine for us. It's also fine for them. Alright, bog that one down. They came here for this tree boy. Okay, get out, get out. We don't want to get bogged down by this treekin. Run these dryads off the battlefield. Come on, get out of there. Stop getting stun locked. We don't really have any magic here that's good against large units. Like, Plague isn't going to do well. Vermintide will just hold them back for a little bit. I've already used up half of our Menace Belows. So I'll just speed them up a little bit. A little bit of damage done on these Tree Kin here. It definitely would be good if we can get rid of them. They're actually kind of more dangerous than the Tree Min, because we can get out of combat from them quite easily. That's it, just get them off the battlefield. Once we've thinned things out a little bit, we can bring out the rattling guns. Just we can't expect them to take out, what, 14 treemen by themselves. There's too many. Especially with only one warlock engineer support. Maybe if you had like 10 warlock engineers, maybe the rattling guns could do it then, because it'll just do so much damage. Alright, that dryad's gone. Alright, we're in a little bit of a pickle here. It looks like they're going to actually pin us down. Alright, go after that treeman. But this is where we have Vermintides. that allow us to get away. Alright, good, that's it. We want to deal with the tr uh, fucking Treekin coming in. Might have to stand and fight there. No, no, just go in, go in. 
assassin. They obey. Good, good, good. Just do a bit of damage to him and then get out. Alright, get out time, get out. Because, yeah, these will surround us and then we won't be able to get away. Pop this down here just to give him a little bit more. Uh, escape power. But, yeah, we did a bit of damage to a couple of the treemen there. We're taking damage ourselves as well. But I think we're dishing out more damage to them than they are to us. Take that, asshole dryads. And, uh, got them a little bit, not much though. Alright, now we gotta get around the other side here. These guys are too close. Alright, speed things up. It's not really a battle, it's more like a solid snake mission or something. Just constantly going around assassinating people. I never played any of the Medical Assault games though, so I have no idea what I'm talking about. Yeah, dryads are easy, we can take them out. Just let this just get out of our way. And yeah. Oh crap, what was he doing all the way back there? My mistake. I thought he was in the big group. Alright, come on, get out, get out. No one gets left behind. Snitch managed to limit him to stay there. No, okay, we can get out, we can get out. One more that's kind of being left behind. Use that to speed up. Alright, he's out. He's out. He's safe. Alright, the problem with this is that if we keep going in this direction, we might uh, give away the position of our rattling guns. We definitely don't want to do that, so we need to veer away from that a fair bit. Alright, send Snitch in to keep doing Verminous Valor and Whirl of Weeping Blades on the infantry units. It should work okay against Treekin as well. I just don't want to get bogged down. Alright, Feminus Valor coming in in a few seconds. They're not really paying that much attention to him. That's it, this is just a distraction for them. Time to go. Their army doesn't seem to be tiring out very much. And let's pop down another one of these. Because it's working pretty well as a distraction. If at the very least just wasting their ammo. That's not going to work in any other units on this battlefield. Fight this one here for a little bit. Just a bit. Just try to get as many hits off it as possible. That's it. That's it. Health going down. Not enough to kill it, but let's get out of there before we get surrounded. And then these guys here. Oh, Snitch has been left behind. Alright, now's a, now's a good time for this. Okay, use this to keep some of them distracted while they get away. We should be able to balance the power here to actually see how strong they are compared to us. Just because it said evenly matched on the uh, on the campaign side of things, that really doesn't count for anything. But it's on legendary difficulty, so we can't see. I'd be able to see on the replay though. All right. So that health potion helped a fair bit. And that distraction, you know, it's good. It doesn't do any damage to them, it's, but we got tons of magic, so it's not a big deal. They're almost out of ammo. Okay, go in for that one there. That looks good. Use that mainly for the movement speed. Just keep them busy. Keep them busy. 
Just one at a time, gotta get rid of these damn trees. We've only taken out one of the trees so far, being Durthu. Okay, slow them down, please. See, that's what happens, they get knocked down. Which is why you don't want to fight, like, a bunch of trees all at once. Now get out. Hit and run. That's the way. Come on, get out of there. See, then they get knocked down. They really do get knocked down for a long time. Come on, get out of there. Oh, I didn't think I could knock them down. Come on, get them out, get them out. Oh, one of these guys is getting... I don't think I can get him out. Yeah, he got surrounded. Um, I, I can't really do anything about that, unfortunately. Going in there to sacrifice the rest of them just to save one doesn't really make sense. But I think we can get him out. Oh, shit. Just pay attention over here. Yeah, we got him out, but we've got to be careful with him now. Yeah, have some of this. They're okay. Alright, so we took out one tree, but we kind of lost an assassin in the in the process. He can still keep fighting for a little bit longer. He might be immortal, but I don't know. Alright. Next stop. There's another tree coming in over here. Might be best for them to have just have a bit of a rest. Speed up and just see how things go. Move up to this way. Just let him have a bit of a rest. Don't think any of them have any more health potions. So, can't revive any of their, their hit points. That's it, just have a bit of a rest. I've also only got so many more bailouts I can do with the Menace Belows. None of these spells here are particularly good against uh, trees either. Magic in general is just not very good against them. Like, you keep using like Fireball or something like that. Uh, but we don't have that. Actually, the uh, shadow wizard for the uh, the the uh, what's it called the Eshen shadow assassin dude, the ninja stars that he does. That's not too bad against them. The problem is you got just got to do it a lot. But it's only like two wins of magic, so it's not too bad. All right, good, nice and recovered. And most of their units haven't fully recovered, so that's good. Let's get in there and try to kill something else. Really want to get rid of their tree kinews because they're the ones that really bog us down the most. Once we get rid of them, I'll feel a lot more mobile. Now's not yet the time to bring out the rattling guns. We haven't thinned them out enough yet. Mm, if we if we fight over here, we won't kill them fast enough for the rest of them to come in on us. just won't be enough. But we can give it a shot, I just don't think it would work. Because we just constantly get stun locked by them. And these guys here, I guess what their job could be, is just keep them busy as long as possible. Alright, here we go. Alright, here we go. We'll just try and do as much damage. We're not going to be able to get out until quite a big portion of them have been taken out. Okay, they should be fine taking out Deep Wood Scouts and Melee. Okay, get him out. Definitely don't want them fighting Treeman. Just keep him busy. A little fight over here, sh we should be able to win that. That's it, just try our best to keep him busy. We're not taking too much damage. Reduce their melee attack. With that, I'm gonna get one shot of it though. Definitely keep these tree kin busy. Try 
to lure them away. But they're going to be coming in pretty soon. Quite a few of them are starting to break over here. Whoops. Okay, another one over here, just keeping busy. Okay, we got way too many of them here. We're just going to constantly get stun locked. We're going to get out. We did do a fair bit of damage to them. We didn't take too much damage. The problem is getting out is where we get damaged. Alright, if he's got Verminous Valor, yep, that'll stun him. And we're all getting out. Good. Oh, actually, this guy here. Getting... No, I can get him out. I can get him out. Right, hard to track exactly how much damage we did to them there. But it wasn't a whole lot. Like I said, they're not great against trees. If it was full of, like, Empire Captains, they'd all be dead by now. Alright, get around over here. Keep them out of the forest. Alright, we gotta isolate one of these damn trees so we can start cutting them down. Alright, go for that one there. Assassin. I'm doing a ton of damage. But once they break... Yeah, once, once they're broken, assassins are pretty good at running enemy units down. Let's actually try to kill them off a bit more. At the very least, shatter them. Okay, they shattered. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Good, that was a good hit and run. Good. Alright, this tree over here, I'm not sure if we'd kill it fast enough, but we can give it a shot. Let's whiz around right through there. Sit in on this one here. Okay, too many, too many. Get out, get out, get out, get out. No, oh, I might need to actually use Verminous Valor again. Alright, we got out of that pretty easily. Alright, getting the hang of doing this now. And with every tree that we cut down, it'll be easier to maneuver. Alright, speed that up a bit. there. Still not yet time to bring out the rattling guns. They wouldn't be able to just... They wouldn't do enough damage before they get attacked. Alright, over here. And let them have a little bit of a rest again. Because they're a little bit tired. Alright, just gotta wait for someone to be isolated. Yeah, some of these trees are pretty badly damaged now. That's really good. Try to finish off the, the ones that are damaged rather than starting damage on, on some new ones. Alright, this this unit of tree can over here. That's our next target. Let's go. Alright, but I gotta distract these other ones as well. Yeah, I'm running out of menace belows. Ah, uh, plus good vermintides. Alright, I'll take out the tree can there easily enough and then they can fight this other treemen, I think. The dryads are a no concern. going down pretty fast. That's what we want to see. That's it. Make sure you kill it. 
And come, yep, good. Another tree has been cut down. So we took out a tree kin and a tree minion in that little fight. Let's get out and uh, look for another opportunity. It's going to keep getting easier. With every one that we kill, it'll get easier to pick them up off. But yeah, we're running out of uh, out of our summons now, but that's okay. I feel like we've done enough with them. Look at this one here. Pretty damn isolated. Bad move. Oh, hang on. No, not necessarily. These ones are too close. Alright, let them stay there. Just have a bit of a rest. Maneuver these ones around again. Just wait for someone to be isolated. This is fine. This is fine. Let them come. And... No, no. Yep, go for them. Okay, we can use Verminous Valor to get away if we absolutely have to. That's good, yeah. If all of them are ganging up on just one of them, it's a it's a good matchup for us. But if we have to deal with all of them, not good. Alright. Uh, that'll definitely come back, but that's okay. Took out half its health. And I don't think we took much in return. I think we're almost at the point that we can bring out the rattling guns now. Just maybe a couple more treemen and we got this. Let them have their rest. Oh, look at this. Somebody's isolated. Alright, if they're shattered, that's as good as dead. They've probably started to... No, they haven't discovered us yet. Still all hidden. Yeah, go after those tree kin. If we can take out the tree kin, we'll have a lot more maneuverability just because they, they really bog us down. They're not so much danger in terms of actually dishing out damage to us. Just a bit longer there. Get up. Good, that one there's not going to be much of a threat now. Alright, tree can over here. Let's go for them. Oops, get him out. Alright, that's good. Right, too many coming in over here. Come on, keep doing damage to them. Alright, let's pop the last one of these down here since they're pretty clumped up. And that's the last to do. Get out. Alright, these two isolated ones over here, that looks perfect for us. Of course, we can't just teleport over there. But we can outrun these guys, so yeah, draw them out as far away over here as possible. Kill. No, 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 just get, get over there. They could easily take out these two. Alright, I might pop this down here just to slow them down just a little bit. So that we've got more time to deal with these two. Now we'll switch these two come over here to buy time so that they can finish off these trees. So I want both of these two trees here dead before these guys catch up. <coughs> Excuse me. I think they kind of realize what's happened here. He's trying to get away from us. But we're actually ending, ending up doing more damage to him that way. Need to buy more time.
Alright, if he's shattered, it's as good as dead, but might as well finish it off anyway. And the other one's going down. Good. Looks like that's going to break. Alright, a couple more trees. It's getting easier now. With every one that we take out, it's getting easier. Good, that one's gone. I think I've got two more Plague Monk summons. Alright, both trees dead. Good, a whole bunch of stragglers around the back there. Go for them. Or even better still, this guy over here. Isolated dumbass. Yeah, these Helm of Discords really help because it lowers their melee defense and melee attack. So they can't dish out any damage to us, and we can dish out damage faster to them. Alright, how many treemen are left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, tree can over here, they're isolated. Their ass is mine. But do trees have asses? Oh crap. There's more, actually more treatment than I thought. Assassinate. Die, die. New victim. Come on, I need you to finish this. Alright, these ones here still isolated. We've got one more of these. I don't think now's the right time to use it. I think that's like the last of their tree kin unit that's actually in decent shape. So they're really not going to be that much of a threat to us now. It's now just down to the tree men. Now there's a whole bunch of them over here. Another group of two. That's where we're going. On, let's get going. Yeah, that one shattered. Good. Good as dead. Since we're attacking a settlement, we don't actually have to wipe them all out. Just got to shatter them. It's not going to buy us that much time. Not going to have enough time, I think. So... Pop this down to slow them down a bit. Oh, damn it. Cancelled. Okay, now we can bring out the rattling guns. Now it should be fine. Come on, you still got one more tree to take out here. No time, gotta get going. Alright, let's get ready to start rattling gunning. Okay, we got them all out. Oh, whoops. That's okay, it was just there as a distraction anyway. Was never going to do that much damage. Alright, now that there's so few of them, we should be able to utilize the assassins and the rattling guns to finish the job. Especially considering they're all really tired now. There's just not enough of them to get around our rats and get to the rattling guns. And they're the ones that are going to do damage way faster than the rat assassins. So let's draw them in. And they're even staggering towards us, so it's going to be even easier. What, what? Alright, offload on them. Damn it. Don't need to kill all of them. Just a few more, and I'm sure the army losses will be inflicted. Ready, ready. 
Okay, you lot, make sure these ones here don't get to them. It's not going to do anything, but whatever. Just use it. And there's the army losses. Got them. Without any casualties at all, I think. I don't think we took any. So yeah, just a bit of patience goes a long way here. This kind of battle. And we got a heroic victory. So yeah, the balance of power actually really wasn't in our favor. Because you can't get a heroic victory if the odds aren't in your favor. Sorry, if, you, if the odds are in your favor. Or even. And you got loads of food here. I don't know what you were intending to do with it, but as a general rule of thumb, I usually sack and occupy settlements, so I'm going to sack it. Looks like you still got plenty of movement. That way, if you still want to occupy it, you can do that. But another thing is that you, what you can do, again, you don't have to do this, um, grab your heroes, take them out, put them back in, back to full health. So you can essentially go right back up to full health, except for Snitch. And it'll be as if we didn't take any damage at all in that battle. But I'll leave that up to you. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you learned something about how to use a Rat Assassin Doomstack. Especially against something that they're not ideal at using, uh, at, at fighting. But uh, appreciate you, and I'll see you next time, fuckers.